Happy sunshine, family. Lunacy is back. And if I got my records correct, this is part 11 of Hat J and Randy Keith Bean's post-trial filings. This is Heather's motion to extend the post-judgment filing deadline. Today's date is March 26, 2018. She filed this motion uh, about a month ago, and I saw just a couple of days ago she filed another one just like this. So it's time to do some uh, catch-up work and get all caught up with Heather's filings here. So we carved some space out for ourselves today to do that. So let's head on over to this first order here. Now this was filed on the 26th of February, 2018, so exactly a month ago. This is the Eastern District, or the United States District Court, Eastern District of Tennessee. It's the United States of America v. Randall Keith Bean and Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe. Case numbers 3 colon 17-CR-82-TAV-DCP. dash 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 Those initials at the end, this is Thomas A. Varlin, and this is Deborah C. Poplin. Thomas A. Varlin is the district judge. Deborah C. Poplin is the clerk of courts. Order. <clears throat> this criminal case is before the court on defendant Heather Ann Tucci Giraffe's motion for an extension of time to file post-verdict motions, document 136, <clears throat> and defendant Randall Keith Bean's declaration adopting the filings, 137. Defendant Tucci Giraffe requests an extension of time under Federal Rule of Criminal Procedure 45B1 to file motions for a new trial and a judgment of acquittal. <clears throat> Defendant Tucci Giraffe submits that she requires additional time to prepare these motions and their corresponding briefs, noting in particular that the transcript of the jury trial in this matter will not be available for at least 30 more days. In his filing, Defendant Bean adopts Defendant Tucci Giraffe's request for an extension of time to file post-verdict motions. Rule 45B1 authorizes the court to extend a deadline for good cause when a party requests the extension before the original deadline expires. Here the court finds good cause <clears throat> supports the defendant's request for an extension. The court therefore grants both Defendant Tucci Giraffe's motion for an extension, Document 136, and Defendant Bean's motion to adopt, Document 137, both defendants shall have up to March 30th, 2018 to file any post-verdict motions under Rules 29 and 33. It is so ordered. Signed by the Chief U.S. District Judge Thomas A. Varlin. <clears throat> so according to this order, they have another four days. Today is March 26th, and they have four more days. And Heather is citing that the transcript, noting in particular that the transcript of the jury trial that uh, we've all been waiting for, I've been waiting to read this out to everyone, will not be available for at least 30 more days. So uh, we are exactly 30 days out from the day this was filed here on February 26th, and uh, we still don't have the transcript from the trial. This is highly irregular, guys. This blows my mind. <clears throat> So really the question that we all have, the question that I have that I'm hoping the rest of you have, is where is the transcript for the trial? How come it's taking so long? And is it going to be a complete and accurate recording of everything that was said in that courtroom? So we've got a few more things to get through today. And I will be back soon to bring those to you. If you have any email for me, any love lighter links, send them to lunacy at protonmail.com. I love you guys. We'll be back soon. Bye-bye.